Hey, welcome back to the Pokemon Trainer Gauntlet. B account Kate up here. And in case you missed it, the Ultra Ball Beauty team has made yesterday's news of the Poke Cup and now strides towards the Prime Cup, the pinnacle of stadium competition. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road. On with the Gauntlet. All right, we kick off the Prime Cup with Battle 1 against Last Terry. She uses Pokemon very similar to the female Poke Fan. Very cute team. Shouldn't be anything to be afraid of. Sorry about that audio in the intro. Couldn't get it right, and it's everything's fine from here on out. So we're going to kick things off with Queen Mary, who can pummel anything with Body Slam, including this Ampharos. Let's hope for early paralysis. We don't get it, but decent damage. We don't mind Thunder Wave. Now, this Ampharos is kind of terrible. I mean, you're supposed to... Fire Punch is very good on Ampharos, but it knows Zap Cannon. That's why it's not using the stab move. It also knows Thunder Wave, right? So it's kind of redundant. I guess it's convenient to have, but it also knows Light Screen, which is also useful. Clutch critical hit. Not really clutch at all. Mary just gets them. She's a lucky cow. Alright. Azumarill is like water wiggly tough. It's just a giant water balloon waiting to be popped. It's not very defensive. Yeah, decent. It's specially defensive in name, you know. But I can't stand attraction, so I have to switch out to Dewey, who's just a lesser Snorlax. And we're going to take a few turns to buff him up. He needs some curses to make him viable. So that's curse number one. We can take a return, no problem. It's even weaker than the Surf. Yep, and the computer realizes that. So this is curse number two. Woo. And I still wasn't convinced that I was going to take it down. And I could definitely take another Surf. So we're going to raise it one more time. Now all we have to do is rest off the damage. We really don't mind a Tail Whip. Our defense is up by two stages already. Two stages after the fact. So now we're ready to pop the balloon. The defense is still up. It's okay. And a one, and a two, and a boom! Critical hit with three attack boosts. All right, Terry, what'd you leave? <laughs> the genuine article, the original. Let's see how its body slam compares. Nothing. My turn. Oh, and paralysis too. It almost did it. Oh, it was so close. Oh, protect, huh? Whatever. No, not a problem. This is the last move. And I don't know why I went Ice Beam. Maybe style points. But hey, that's battle one. We didn't even need Jasper. I usually put him on the front lines. While um, Queen Mary waits until the opportune time to, you know, kill whatever's left. But that's okay. Everything is going to get their chance to shine here. So against uh, Black Belt Yang, the detect person, really, well, seriously, all he does is use detect. It's so easy to get past. You get a free turn. You can set up. But this is the problem. He has all fighting types, and I've got normal Pokemon. So... This is a really fortunate situation. We have Eddie versus King. They're ready to go. <laughs> this is sounding like Tekken. 
<laughs> it's Eddie versus King. <laughs> I'm sorry. I play a lot of Tekken 2. Or, well, Tekken 7, really. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, he detects. A surf is not going to be enough. Oh, Horn Drill. He just used its special attack. I don't know, the king, big, the big king throw with Horn Drill. Okay, I'll stop. Nope, King's out of commission. You win. Quick resist. <laughs> now it's Eddie versus Lee. <laughs> I mean, Lay, right? I don't. I guess. That's just that's just too funny. I can, how can you not make the similarity here? We're gonna confuse the Hitmon Lee because it's resorting to Mega Kicks. Mega Kick only has 80% accuracy, and he misses once but hits the second time. We're gonna keep surfing and sort of see what whoever's left. I promise you, there are no more Tekken references. No matter what he uses, net left. Oh, uh, well, hey, we got that. Another Mega Kick misses. That's a quick claw. Mega Kick hits. And yeah, Eddie's, Eddie's almost down. You might say he's on his last leg. Eddie, breakdance, legs, all right. <laughs> okay, we can't take down Hitmonchan, um, but we can use Wolfsbane. This is where a rare opportunity where Wolfsbane is actually going to battle, and it's not against the Wobbuffet this time. It's not really meant to stall. It's because I don't want to use Mary against Chan if I don't have to, and we got a free turn on the Detect. So we're going to use Leech Seed, get some free HPs out of the deal. No, that can't be gotten rid of. It's only got four more dynamic punches left. We don't really care about the confusion. All they can use is Thunder Punch, Mach Punch, and Dynamic Punch. And I'm going to ruin his day with the accuracy drops. Okay. It's helping. Just keep doing this. I could put him to sleep too, but I kind of want him to use up his moves. He might be here for a little bit. It's a slow process, but that's how poison plants kind of work. Some, anyway. Ironically, Wolfsbane does not boast any poison. But Tumble Powder is very nice. And, you know, Flash isn't bad either. I mean, the accuracy is bad, but you know what? It does its job. I mean, he's still hitting with Dynamic Punch, that's a problem. Wow, that Thunder Punch did 20 damage, and the announcer was silent. They had nothing to say about it. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Mach Punch. I thought Mach Punch, like, always hit. No, that's Vital Throw. Vital Throw always hits. But it always goes second. Yep. He's being blinded in his sleep. What a cruel way to go. And Lucy takes its toll, and that is battle two. I'm sorry, there really weren't many other ways around this. I can't bring normal Pokemon to a fighting gunfight, you know? I mean, I'm so th thankful that the gr the beauty actually thought of including water and grass types. Okay, I had no idea, but they had to use beauties in the water by Cinnabar in the first generation 
because there were no female swimmers. They wanted some variety. So that's why you see them in the water. It's actually kind of funny that works out. And that's why they have the water Pokemon. Okay, against Battle 3, this is the Bird Keeper. And we're going to lead with Jasper. He can, um, you know, use Body Slam or Thunderbolt, whatever we need. Just in case Glagger shows up. We'll, run, we'll work right through that Toxic. That Body Slam is right down the middle, so we're going to give it a Thunderbolt. And awesome, Dodrio's out. Okay, Charizard's much less the same deal. It's just a little more defensive, and I kind of wanted to paralyze right away. And we got it! Luck be a beauty. Flamethrower was strong, but it's still a three hit KO. So let's test how strong Thunderbolt is. Oh, it does even more. Alright, so Jasper just took down a Dodrio and it took down a Charizard. Now, whatever it is, I do have to switch out. I do want the continues just in case. We haven't needed them with this team, but, you know, having an all team of one type, basically, is risky. Unfortunate. And not always the m most entertaining to use. We want variety. Okay, so Murkrow's flying to the skies. Cuddles is going to miss with Ice Beam. But we are ready went for the landing with, with counter. Who did about 130. And yeah. Murkro got served. It's going up again, so yep, same story here. Even if it crits, we're good. Don't mess with the what or with the rabbit, you'll get the horns. Just like that, three battles down. We're gonna get to cool trainer Floria next. She's the hypnosis trainer. Bird Keeper has never really given us a problem unless we were using bugs. That's a very bad memory. All right, so she loves to send out Stantler first, so I need something kind of strong, but maybe can take, um, doesn't mind going to sleep. So, yeah, this is going to work. I think we're going to start off with, I believe, yes, Wolf Spin. We're going to do sleep right back. Oh, that was a quick claw. So my original plan fell through, but that's okay. Wolfsbane is kind of like bait. So we also brought Dewey and we brought Mary. We didn't bring Jasper this time. So I think you'll understand my strategy. So we've got Dewey who can rest up. Take a bunch of returns, power himself up, and when he's all done, uh, he'll rest, eat up the mint berry, last a lot as long as he can, and then we're gonna switch over to Mary, who can just heal bell the entire team and wake everybody up. Pretty nifty idea, but I'd say we're ready for battle now. I don't know if it's just me, but this Stantler gets a lot of critical critical hits. Not this time, though. Let's go in um, for one more curse. Okay. 
Yep, there's that critical hit. <laughs> I know I'm really pushing my luck here, but, you know, I do that. Yeah, he's only doing 30 damage now. This Dantler also has hidden power. I have no idea what it is. It also knows Earthquake. But yeah, returns its strongest move. Alright, we are finally ready. I, it takes an annoyingly long time to build himself up, but with four curses, I believe. Yeah, no. They didn't have a chance. Her whole strategy is complete now. She can't put me to sleep. Now against Executor, um, Ice Beam or Body Slam, really. It's a toss up. And a critical hit Giga Drain. Ouch! One, two, boom. No paralysis. Oh, it lives. And I don't know why I did this. I actually kept him in. I didn't switch out. I should have brought out um, either Wolfsbane to take a Giga Drain or just Mary to finish the job. Yep, my mistake. But sometimes you just got to let Pokemon faint. Dewey took one for the team, and what are you switching to? Because a full power body slam is going to hit you. Okay. The Fable has leftovers, and no stab attacks. It has hidden power, whatever, I don't know. Sing, which is useless, and Thunder Punch and Fire Blast. Executor at least had Leech Seed and Sludge Bomb. And, of course, Giga Drain. Two more. Okay. Extra help with the Paralysis. And a miss. Almost back at full health. Now we just knock him down like dominoes. I don't think it's gonna live. Body slam's too powerful. No way. Yep, gone. Battle four, first half of the Prime Cup, knocked down. Not really any big challenges for this team yet. I mean, the um, I keep wanting to call him the guy Karate Guy. Um, the black belt could have been dangerous. We got around that. Fisherman Chase is where the difficulty kind of ramps up. Everything's got like a water move. I'm already thinking about the burglar team we're going to get to with this. Old Faithful Jasper is going to start us off against a Lantern. Um, this is actually good. We can just body slam away. Because Lantern can be very problematic. And kind of strong. It has good special attack. Not the computers in round one, but you get the gist. There's the paralysis. Great. Not great. Surf number two, and we can actually survive another surf. Maybe. Yeah, I think we should. So I go for it. We get a good result. And of course, Quagsire comes out. Very popular Pokemon for the computer to use. I have no idea why. I think if they even detect a 
the smallest inkling of an electric move. If they see an electric move on your team, they're going to run Quagsire. I don't know. It just it tends to always happen. It's annoying, but I just know going in to expect it. Lickitung is like the normal type version of Quagsire, really, or vice versa. Not too lucky with that critical hit, but this is a raw body slam. It didn't do that much. And dynamic punch, ouch. Rest up, nope, okay. Well, he tried. That's okay. Dewey again doesn't get his due, but he will. He'll make up for it later. And we see Miltank. She's going to just clean everything up. Come on, critical hit. No. <laughs> no. It, it, it hit. Okay, um... Now starts why this battle might be a little take a little longer. We're confused, and I have to heal, and he's just gonna keep pummeling pummeling me with surf. Can I talk in this video or what? I wanna go back to the Tekken references. Okay. We're pretty much back to full health. Oh my god. No way. Why? Again, the, these critical hits are having a, happening at the worst time. And he hits again! Well, he's used three, so maybe we'll break through? No, of course not. Surf isn't doing too much, but I mean, I'd say we got one more turn. Okay. We take that. Don't critical hit this time. All right. Now we're good. Let's take out this annoying water fish. Okay, Montag's left. Its defenses, physical ones, aren't that good either, so in just a few body slams, we'll be through with this battle. Finally move on. Yeah, Waterfall, it's got nothing. You got a Dragonite at your disposal, and you brought Montag. He brought the slowest Pokemon on the team. Even Gyarados would have been an okay choice. It at least has Rain Dance and Hydro Pump. What an underwhelming Battle 5. And that's not on this team, you know? Like, yeah, we lost Dewey, but it's like... You'd expect it to be a, just a little tougher. It is a little tougher, but the AI does not react to that. Okay, the scientist team is going to be tough because we've got... We're up against a lot of confusion that... Uh, Tactics. So we have uh, nine tails. We're actually faster than this. So we're going to give it a body slam. This is one of the most annoying teams to face because he literally uses every all, all the fastest Pokemon in the game that are eligible. What 
all Pokemon can enter this cup. I just wanted to say, restate that, you know, for my for my sake. Got past confusion. Nine tails is down. But that's not the huge problem here. The big problem is Crobat. It's faster than me. And it knows Screech. It can't even help me with Swagger. But we got past our confusion. We inflict paralysis. Now Crobat's done. The second you slow these Pokemon down, the, they can no longer um, trouble you. Lucky Screech miss, but we're not going to keep Jasper in for too long, no matter what the last Pokemon is. Although I got to say it'd be nice if it was uh, Fortress, a really slow one. Okay, mirror match with Persian, or Persilab. Paralysis, come on. No! Okay. Oh, okay, Swagger, fine. But I am going to actually switch to, you guessed it, Cuddles. For one big reason. It's got a bitter berry. Mary doesn't have any berries. It has the, uh, she has the left one. And you just sealed your doom with that one. And battle six is over. This marks the start of like the real prime cup, like lap battles six, seven, and eight. They literally make or break teams. Well, figuratively. Yes, I know. Yeah, this scientist one was actually pretty quick. On to the skier. Kathy's got a heck of a lineup. She's went with a water psychic ground ice motif. Very similar to Lorelei. And not to mention a god annoying Mr. Mine. This thing, the baton pass is double team. It's just not a fun time. I have to put it out of its misery really quickly. So I'm starting with Mary. I'm pulling no punches. It wastes no time for double team. And using its quick claw. Convenient. But we got paralysis out of it. Okay, we'll take that. One double team up. And Bobby's not misses. Okay. That's three quick claws in a row? How does that happen? I'm getting... I, I was getting so mad at that point. I knew I couldn't switch. I do have... I think I brought Eddie with me to, like, haze it out. You have to. Plus, he's a nice special sponge. All right. Lapras is kind of what we want. We can just... Um, Start body slamming. This Lapras likes status. It has two moves that paralyze and one that freezes. Including that one. So we'll have to watch our HP for that. We'll use milk drink. Comes another ice beam. And Mary is frozen. Mary is out of commission. She can't battle. Um, and there's no way out of it. I mean, there is, but like, it takes turns and turns to do. So, I have to switch over to Eddie. Eddie's got his work cut out for him, but he can live. And he won't be frozen. Eddie is stacked. We've got Toxic and Confuse Ray, which we waste no time using. And hey, it's working right away. We're going to make lemonade out of this. Okay. Toxic is very helpful. 
Body slam is not good. It's only a matter of time, Eddie. And I can't heal you. And Surf is going to do next to nothing. I'm about 50. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's not good. Um, well, our Quick Claw actually kicks in, and we get a Confuse Ray. So fresh confusion for Lapras. Same old story. Our rotten luck. Additional damage in an already difficult situation. Both combatants appear to be exhausted. Here comes a Pokemon. Okay, so Toxic might have taken out the Lap Lapras. And now we're left with Slowking. But I kind of anticipated that, so there comes a new Confused Ray. And. Okay, it works. Let's go. Come on, Toxic. All right. Yes! Okay. The two that are left, they're po uh, they're poisoned, so they're put on a clock. Eddie, you did your part. You are so done. Take a break. Now we have Jasper. He's got a long road ahead of him, but we do have some tools at our disposal. We have Shadow Ball. We can get through Slow King. Use our attack. Thunderbolt would not do it. If we get a special drop, then we can use them. That's not bad for a psychic. I'm not trying to compliment it, but I mean, decent damage. Less than what I would thought. Okay, Jasper is going in on, uh, already on his last leg. He can't switch to Lapras, otherwise that would result in a knockout. So yeah, he slept, kept sloking in. I'm fascinated with the AI. The more I do these, I like learning their behaviors. Okay, so Lapras comes in. I'm definitely going to outspeed. This should be it. And... Focus bands. Jasper's done. And no poison damage to Lapras. But we still have Miltank, who is frozen. And like the queen she is, she's going to finish this battle in style. Yep, she can't move. What are we going to do? She's still eating leftovers. She can't be frozen further. Ice Beam isn't enough. Poison does the Lapras in. And Mary wins the battle frozen. I can't believe it. This just sums up Mary, she's just, and then suddenly she's unfrozen. <laughs> I've never won a battle um, frozen like that. I don't think I have. Maybe way back, I forgot. I know we've had some amazing freezes on this series before. But okay, we made it flawlessly to the final battle. This is it. Will this be a flawless run for the beauty team? It's been a heck of a ride. Who's going to take on Mew? And I'll give you a hint. It's not going to be Mary. We need Mary for later. What to do against uh, Tyranitar, though? If he throws in Tyranitar, our team is kind of screwed. With that being said, I would have to bring in Eddie. It's the only thing that takes down Tyranitar. Or has a chance to. Wolfsbane is a little frail for it. Takes a lot of setup. We can't rule out a quick claw. But I'm going to use Dewey. Start off at this party against Mew. Of course it goes first. That's fine. That's expected. But a critical hit right off the bat. Come on. All right. Body slam. Come on. Yep. Critical hit and paralysis. Got, gets rid of the Miracle Berry. We have to use our mint berry. We have to rest. No matter what the psychic is. We'd survive, thankfully. No sped drop. Really good. Um, and psychic isn't doing that all, all that enough. All that much. 
in its own right. No drops. Let's go. Oh, man. We need a paralysis here. We need it to paralyze. I don't... I can't rest again. I can only rest if he's paralyzed. Oh, right there. We just got it. Okay. Lickitung takes down Mew. Next. All right, Starmie is very difficult to deal with too because it knows Surf, Psychic, um, Light Screen, and Swift. I don't know why it knows Swift, but you know, I think in round two it knows Thunder. If he, I think he kept Starmie in round two. I haven't seen that side of the book in a long time. But we are going to rest up and save him for later because we can just heal Bell off the sleep. So we're essentially in great shape right now. We get one move against Starmie right now because we can take one critical hit safely. And thankfully, we outspeed. Starmie's very fast. But I'm not taking any chances. Mary has to heal here. It's just a back and forth until we get to full health. Although that's decent. Maybe I would take a chance. Yeah. Good damage. Looks like a three hit. We do have this. Um, I notice he's not switching over to Tyranitar. I don't know why you would leave one something like that on the table. So we're not quite there. We'll heal up once again. All right, about 130. Yeah, you know, it's just very tough to gauge. Okay, we got paralysis on Starmie. We'll take that. Starmie also has bright powder, so we could totally miss on him. All right, if we milk drink and then it gets paral paralyzed, oh, that would be so nice. But only a fantasy. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge risk taker, so this that is our last um, milk tank or. Milk drink we are going to be using because leftovers is going to be more than enough to help us through um, to get us to the next Pokemon. And Starmie is out. Starmie and Mew are gone. What's left? We're in great shape. We got three Pokemon, all fine. And of course, it's Umbreon. Another Pokemon the computer will not leave on the table if they have an opportunity to pick it. I think they go by its like amazing defenses. Like the cool trainer is programmed to pretty much use Mew in every fight. Although there are fights where he doesn't use it. It's very rare, but he does not use it sometimes. It's a once in a blue moon thing. And all we're facing right now is Faint Attack. It knows Psychic. It knows Shadow Ball. And it knows Confuse Ray, which so for some reason it's not using. Confuse Ray would help it survive, but even a critical hit Faint Attack doesn't scare us. So one final Body Slam. This is it. And the Beauty Team have conquered the Gauntlet. Flawlessly. I can't believe it. An entirely, well, almost entirely normal team conquered it. And the last battle, flawlessly, no less. 
Wow. Let's analyze their run. This was something else. What a beautiful finish to another flawless gauntlet. Never would I realize that this team would do this well. I'm really impressed. I underestimated this rather bland normal typing and its utter lack of advantages. However, I do feel that if the team were a little more balanced and not weighted down with so many special using normal bruisers, a better strategy could be surmised rather than use Body Slam to win. This team owes everything to that wonderful crippling move. And I guess, in a sense, I did get some satisfaction paralyzing and things and inflicting major damage too. On to the team members, Wolfsbane and Eddie were key members of the team and decent special users and set repertoires. Each had a unique role but were reliable to the Call of Duty. Cuddles, like I said, is a glass cannon with a variety of moves but it did get its time to shine with counter on occasion. And seriously, a first gen normal type that can learn numerous elemental attacks, sign me up. Speaking of which, Dewey fared better but took too long to set up at times, and sometimes it cost him. Sometimes we needed power right away, and that was not always the case. Jasper filled the role of a frontline soldier, and this well-rounded classy cat performed amazingly well. But none could compare to the one, the only, Queen Mary. All hail the blue cow, you know it, without whom this gauntlet would not only be possibly possible. She was a fighter, a cleric, a saboteur, all in one. Raise your blue milk glasses, she remains at the height of Pokemon fashion along with this beauty team. I salute you. The question now is, will the Ultra Ball Burglar's Gauntlet prove to be a smoother operation? Find out in the 25th Pokemon Trainer Gauntlet series next time. I'm Vcount Kata, thank you for watching, subscribe for more Gauntlet videos, and what a stylish twist. See you next time.